What's going on everybody? This is DK Dynamite, and tonight we're gonna be talking about new information about Season 6, another beta code giveaway, and some new updates within Black Ops Cold War. Definitely stay tuned, but before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, and also as a reminder, I'll be playing with every single one of you guys out there that sends me proof of using code DYNAMITE over at GamerAdvantage.com. Their link is of course down below in the description, but in case you guys haven't seen this yet, in the Prestige Shop with Season 5 Reloaded, we have the brand new Hidden Terror Legendary ZRG Blueprint available if you want to spend a couple of Prestige keys and i know some of these blueprints aren't the best and probably aren't worth your prestige keys you might as well spend them on calling cards or something else but at the very most if you guys want to collect all the blueprints in this game then here you guys go in case you guys are interested but i want to make sure that season 5 reload doesn't get overlooked because of the release of the recent vanguard beta i still want to cover black ops cold war as much as i possibly can now we also have the tracer pack for hudson which dropped last night and i actually missed this until this morning and as you guys can see for 2400 cod points we have the hudson operation skin we then have three new blueprints with green and gold tracer fire we have the m16 we have the ksp and the m60 we also have an agency rank accessory watch the aviator's charm and again that's very fitting for hudson's character and a nice animated emblem the secret agents and the secret war calling card pretty badass pack if i don't say so myself we'll be rocking them in the gameplay as you guys will see over in the background but also as a bit of an fii for those out there that aren't familiar with zoo from black ops 1 it is technically a bit of a remaster of the original that utilizes assets and a lot of the features you guys already see in the Outbreak Zoo region, but it's not exactly a one-to-one -one remaster. As somebody pointed out on Twitter to me, I'll put the images on screen so you guys can see, it is a bit of a different version that cuts off certain areas of the original map, which I guess improves the pacing for the map itself in Cold War multiplayer, and I'm totally fine with that. It's a bit more of a condensed version, which I don't think really makes that much of a difference, honestly. Some of the areas that were in Black Ops 1, which aren't in Cold War, I'd say promoted a little bit more camping than usual, but the flow here in Cold War is perfect, at least in my opinion. So I guess you can consider this a brand new map altogether, especially for those out there who didn't play the DLC season for Black Ops 1 multiplayer. Now on screen, I am going to put 10 beta codes for Call of Duty Vanguard multiplayer, and I am aware that if you're on PlayStation, you don't actually need a code anymore, at least after tomorrow, because next weekend and going forward, the beta will be open access for all players on PlayStation, regardless if you pre-ordered or not. But for Xbox and PC, the early access period does begin later this week. So take advantage of this while you guys can. And I'll be covering more of Call of Duty Vanguard as time goes on. I will say I've enjoyed the alpha a lot more than the beta for Vanguard multiplayer. Not really a huge fan of the maps that are being offered right now. The weapons are fun. The spawns are still a bit broken. And there's a couple of mechanics that could use some work before the official release. But altogether, I'm excited for Call of Duty Vanguard. And hopefully the interest in the YouTube scene does dramatically increase for many channels out there. I see right now a lot of channels are posting Vanguard and aren't doing that great. So maybe things will change close to release when more marketing does happen of course now i do want to go into some very spicy information about season six for black ops cold war which has been posted over on twitter some call of duty partners have already addressed some of this so it is safe to talk about and the first thing i will say is apparently a skin for mason who's set to launch in season six will be centered around the resurrection looking zombie from the fourth map pack of black ops one and that's incredible to think about imagine getting a zombie themed mason skin in over in the final season of this game that will definitely end off this game's life cycle with the bang also rumors about a zombie woods and some other skins relating to what looks like a pretty zombies heavy season for the cosmetic side of things and i can't complain about that either that sounds really fun and there's also rumors about a donnie darko skin from 2001 movie starring jake gyllenhaal and that's definitely gonna fit the theme of the hollows eve event launching probably towards the middle or end of october and we also know ghostface from the scream movies is going to be a skin as well so essentially a haunt of her dance part two except i would say there's going to be challenges in verdansk 84 maybe even rebirth and then of course over in black ops cold war so the halloween event sounds like a ton of fun and hopefully you guys are excited as i am about it maybe we'll get some other rumored characters from other popular horror franchises i'm a huge saw fan so i love the event last year it was a lot of fun now there's also footage circulating the internet of numbers tracer fire so that should be a bundle coming out at some point in season six i'm loving the fact that season five at least right now is very black ops one centric right featuring some fan favorite maps that never got remastered a single time drive in and zoo we got those we have hudson as an operator now and we of course have uh, a numbers event starting on september the 21st for season five reloaded so that's going to lead into another black ops one centric season as it seems with the return of mason as a player
playable operator. Cannot complain about that. If you guys want a sneak peek at these side melee weapons in action, which are going to be released as a part of the numbers events, I did show you guys a bit of a sneak peek in my previous video, which I've linked down below in the description. We also have rumored information about ultra animated Mason skins coming in season six. So you can bet your ass the the numbers outfits from Blackout are making a return here in Black Ops Cold War. Not only am I happy to see those return, but there's a lot of people out there that they didn't play Black Ops 4 because of a lot of negative controversy surrounding that game. They probably didn't stick around that long to enjoy cosmetics like that. Those Blackout Numbers Operator skins were fantastic and were unlocked through doing different character quests later on in that game's life cycle. So they're making a return. Really excited to see that. Let me know how you feel about that down below in the comments. We also have some subtitles and audio that surfaced a little bit early and this is very spicy info. So I'm not going to show it or play it on screen for many obvious reasons. Maybe check the description down below if you guys are interested in this. But the subtitles for the Season 5 Ultra Cinematic are as follows and may not be complete. But here we go. Adler has been off the grid working on something in Verdansk. We have no idea what he's been doing. We have to assume he's compromised. Go find Mason. He knows what has to be done. Those are the words being spoken from Hudson. And holy crap, my prediction did come true. They would wait till the very last second to bring Mason in to the Black Ops Cold War story. Because according to the Treyarch timeline, Alex is currently away, I think, in Alaska, raising his son, David Mason. Now, in the beginning of Black Ops 2's campaign, we get a glimpse of Hudson, quote-unquote, recruiting Mason for a mission to rescue Frank Woods. So it seems like Hudson may have done that a number of times to bring Mason into the action to deal with something that may hit home for him. And with Adler being brainwashed and the numbers program seemingly returning because of Stitch, that may piss Mason off and it'll be enough to kind of take Mason away from his quote-unquote early retirement to go take care of the issue. So holy crap, what a story it's been over the course of the DLC season of Black Ops Cold War. I mean, Modern Warfare just didn't hit quite a few notes for me, but with Cold War, especially in the post-launch season, Season, the story has been as strong as ever, introducing us to brand new characters and not relying on nostalgia to tell a good story and to really populate the roadmaps with fun content and to further the story beyond so they can maybe tell a sequel story to this in a couple of years. I mean, this game has set up so much for the future of Black Ops and I couldn't be more excited about what Treyarch may have in store in 2023. Now, we also got word from Verified Gaming Scooper, the Modern Warfare 2 Ghost, that he was told we might end up seeing an FALAR, a shotgun similar to the Modern Warfare 2 model 1887 all in cold war season six and those weapons sound pretty spicy he said he also heard some whispers about a new sniper so for those out there that want to see specific weapon type uh, get added into Season 6, then I would say hold your horses on uh, assuming what the season is going to actually entail because we have a lot of surprises that we have no idea about just yet. And he also mentioned it seems like there's a new SMG according to Nanikos, who reported on that at some point last night. Getting some checks done will report back. So he'll of course let us know what's going on over on his Twitter. But that sounds exciting. I mean, we've gotten quite a few weapons in Season 5, all of which released before the mid-season update, which is a first for a Cold War season. So at least we're getting the side the weapons with the numbers event in a couple of weeks time i also want to bring up that there won't necessarily be a season six reloaded of cold war at least not right now that we can assume maybe similar to modern warfare where the halloween event is so massive that it kind of takes the place of a mid-season reloaded update and that update itself for halloween will have enough content to justify it as the mid-season update for season six and i was trying to look back and i actually forgot that yeah modern warfare didn't have a season six reloaded it just had a big haunting of her dance updates so the Hallows Eve event in Cold War may be something similar, but that then brings up something that I brought up recently, and that is that Season 6 Reloaded is rumored to release the day before Call of Duty Vanguard does, so maybe that's just placeholder for some little content that's going to be saved until the very day before Vanguard comes out. It won't be a massive update in Cold War 24 hours before a new Call of Duty releases. I mean, that could be the case too. Take it all with a grain of salt, of course, but the future is very interesting in terms of how they're going to release some last-minute content right before Sledgehammer comes out swinging with their full launch of Vanguard. Now, thanks to COD Tracker, who I guess got sponsored by Activision to drop a bunch of beta codes for Vanguard, they went ahead and posted 28 new cosmetic bundles to expect in the rest of Season 5 of Black Ops Cold War and Warzone. Quite a few cool packs here. First up, have the Brain Freeze, which is going to be a bundle that costs 1,400 COD points, comes with an LC-10, an AUG, I think that's a Diamati 
pistol there. I was gonna have a charm emblem, calling card, and a sticker. So for those out there that are a fan of ice cream, there you guys go. We then have a pack called Cryptids, and I'm like, wait a second, is this an extinction reference? And it could be. It's gonna cost 1,200 cod points. We have a skin there for the RPD, one for the QBZ. We then have a Sasquatch charm, which is hilarious. The C Kraken vehicle skin, and then a Bigfoot emblem and a Bloodsucker rare sticker. So. Uh, a bit of a mysterious and mischievous looking bundle there. I cannot complain. We then have the Dark Forest pack, which is going to cost, what is that, 1,100 COD points. Comes with a bison, or I should call it the bullfrog. Keep calling it the bison, I don't know why. We then have the Howard Shotgun, an unknown item there. The vehicle skin, a emblem, and even a calling card. So we're getting a bunch of spooky packs as we head into October, which is great. We then have the Lost in the Woods bundle, and this is going to cost a good 1,700 COD points. Comes with a Forest Ranger Operator skin, a skin there for that's the Groza. We then have, I think it's a KSP. We then have a Charm Emblem and even a Calling Card. So the artwork on some of these packs is just beautiful. I'm sure you guys agree with that down below in the comments. We have the Luchador reactive bundle for 2400 cod points and it's a badass looking skin i'm not gonna lie <laughs> we have one there for the qbz we have an operator skin l campion i think i said that right uh, an unknown base item we then have another blueprint there for i think it's the milano we then have a charm vehicle skin finishing move some gestures there i think it's a heineken beer i think that is i guess they got the rights to use that and we then got an emblem and calling card there at the bottom so a pretty stacked pack for 2400 cod points and also comes with the ability to unlock some free cod points by doing some exclusive challenges a part of this bundle. And we'll talk more about that in a few minutes because that itself is a cool feature, but it's a bit problematic right now. So give me a few minutes on that. We then have the Metamorphous bundle, which is going to go ahead and cost 1,100 COD points. We have a skin there for, I think that's the FA. Oh, no, that's not the FFAR. That is the Carve. Almost messed that up there. The KSP. We then have a Melee Weapon skin there for the Machete. We have a Charm Vehicle skin, Finishing Move, Calling Card, and even a sticker there. Let me make sure I don't mess up any of the vehicle or weapon names or else I'm going to be butchered down below in the comments that has happened before <laughs> it's not that serious they're just bundles right we then have the nasty bite bundle for a thousand cod points comes with a skin there for the stoner we have a baseball bat skin a dynamite rare charm so hey Treyarch shouted me out with one of their upcoming bundles it's not quite the bomb but it's still dynamite right an explosive of sorts we have a finishing move and then a battle boar epic sticker so that's a pretty cool pack may have to buy it just for the dynamite charm right we do have a bomb charm already in game which i do use quite often but might pick this one up as well just for shits and giggles we then have the news flash bundle not fake news but a news flash bundle for 1500 cod points comes with a combat journalist skin there it's pretty ironic we have a newsreel skin for the groza news 8 for the hour shotgun i would then have a vehicle skin reticle emblem and even a calling card not too shabby and next up we have the quick death bundle Sounds pretty cool. This is going to cost, what is that, 1,800 COD points. We have a Revenge Operator skin. We then have blueprints for the FFAR. One there for the Pellington. Another melee weapon there, the Dragon's Fang. Then I have a Charm, an unknown base item, finishing move, emblem, and even a calling card. So some of these bundles are pretty stacked, and not all of them are expensive. So not too bad there. We then have the Quiet on the Set looking bundle this is going to cost 1500 cod points and could be a little bit of a callback to george romero from call of the dead all right he did say quiet on the set in the map itself we have a director skin there for sims an lc10 an ffar an unknown base item we then have some really cool looking cosmetics here we have a sticker calling card and an emblem all dealing with filmmaking and some production there so definitely badass next up we have the say cheese bundle for 600 cod points pretty inexpensive there i got a cheese looking milano we then have an emblem charm and even a sticker got red Tui there in this bundle, which is pretty funny. And next up, we have what is this? The Skeleton Key Bundle. It's going to go ahead and cost 800 COD points, some inexpensive packs here. We got a Sniper Blueprint, we got a cool looking charm, calling card, and even a sticker. So, some of these bundles are, of course, a little bit smaller than others. We next up have the Stage Hand looking bundle, and this is going to go ahead and cost 1400 COD points. Got a Rock Show Operator skin, a guitar looking M16, a crossbow blueprint, a Stamina Up Soda looking sticker, and a Control Board Charms. So I love how some of these bundles do incorporate little zombies references and zombies cosmetics that may not even be related to some of the bundles that they're for. We next up have, what is this, the Spectral Psy looking pack for the Psy Melee Weapon. We have a really cool looking blueprint for the Melee Weapons coming with the Numbers event, December the 21st. We have also a Watch Finishing Move 
gestures, some unknown items there, and two skips for the Season 5 Battle Pass. If you want to save those skips, you can for the Season 6 Battle Pass. More power to you. But we next up have the Destroyer Bundle for 500 COD points. A very simple pack coming with a blueprint for the RPD. We then have a charm and even a sticker there. But next up we have a pack that I'm really looking forward to, and that is the Tracer Pack Brainwash Reactive Bundle coming with a Cypher Animated Skin for Adler. We then have the Ultra Animated Blueprints for an LMG there, the Street Sweeper, and even I think that's the MP5. So these are all going to have the numbers effect like we saw back in Blackouts. We then have the Crash Course Finishing Move, a Numbers Theme Charm, Reticle Emblem, and even a Calling Card. So a badass pack, all for 2,400 COD points. We next up have the Tracer Pack Judge Dread, which is also going to cost 2,400 COD points. Comes with two skins for Dread himself. We have the basic Judge Dread from the comics and a comic strip version, which is all black and white. Some unknown base items, a Quick Judgment Blueprint for I think that's the Milano or the MAC-10. We then have a finishing move, watch, charm, emblem, and even a calling card. We next up have the Motocross Tracer Bundle, which is also going to cost 2,400 COD points. Comes with a special order to unlock free COD points, along with an operator skin, three blueprints there, a charm, finishing move, some gestures, an emblem, and even a calling card. We next up have the Pharaoh's Pet Tracer Pack, also a Mastercraft, a badass looking skin for the MAC-10, also one for an LMG. We then have a charm, watch, emblem, calling card, sticker, and one tier skip for the Battle Pass. Now, coming towards the end of these Tracer Packs, we have Tagger 3, another cool Operator skin there. We then have some blueprints for, I think it's the LC-10 and a Krig. We also have a Watch Reticle and even an Emblem. We then have Trench Viper for 1,300 COD points, a pretty cool looking skin. Uh, we then have some blueprints for a Pellington and a Bison, as well as a Reticle Emblem, Calling Card, and even a Sticker. But last and definitely not least, Tropic Heat. So a nice Miami theme pack there for 1,300 COD points. Comes with skins for a Milano, a Gallo, an unknown item, an emblem, calling card, and even a sticker. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave all your thoughts down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on new information regarding Season 6? How do you feel about new updates coming within the following season, which is going to contain an Ultra Operator skin for Mason? We have some cool Halloween crossovers. And also how you're feeling about the upcoming bundles coming with the rest of Season 5. Really hope you've enjoyed, and peace out, everyone.